flags in rags. The current controversy over the Confederate battle flag fluttering over the Capitol building in Columbia, South Carolina, is a testament to many things, the least of which is whether it is a symbol of racism. It is a measure of how backward and repressive some areas of the country are, caught in the fractured memory of the past, a past that was, for millions, far more horrific than it was glorious. Anyone who studies American history learns that South Carolina constantly threatened to secede from the Union. Indeed, in the classic work of French political scientist Alexis de Tocqueville, Democracy in America, written several generations before the firing on Fort Sumter, South Carolina threatens to split from the Union. That contrariness, that sense of false bruised pride, that deep paranoia bred in the bone because of the knowledge of centuries of crimes and cruelties waged against Africans lies in the heart of the state like a stone. Of all the slave-built colonies of the South, none exceeded South Carolina for its huge, teeming black population which lived in constant terror. That is the heritage of the Confederate battle flag, one of terror and violence in support of a system of organized theft of black labor in the name of white supremacy and black subjugation. Dylan Dumb and Dumber Roof knew instinctively what the flag stood for, as well as the flags of apartheid South Africa and the former Rhodesia. He knew what he was wearing and waving. History has consigned the apartheid flags and Rhodesia's banners to the annals of a history that is past. But in parts of the United States, it flaps in the breeze as if it is still 1860, a symbol of a war against freedom. For far too many people, the war, the civil war, still ain't over. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Right, son, in the hizzle, off the shizzle, dizzle. We got an excess show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast and staff, affiliates or associates, and the views of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena. We are a council, and I'm going to have Don break that down. And the views of White Sun does not reflect that of Black Sun. God is son of the Confederate, so is Jesus Christ. White power. You confuse the audience every time you can hear <laughs> Go ahead, Don. <laughs> okay. Hi. I'm Don. Um, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, uh, so a council, we are here, we are here to, uh, we, we have to actually get together to really agree on a uh, 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 definition of the council, but we have, we equally- did I, did I put you on the spot there? Don? Yes, you did. I'm sorry, Don, I'm sorry. We were gonna talk about this. Okay, 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 okay. But anyway, we're not, we're not, uh, you know, no one person is ruling this roost. We are all here together. And I have nothing else special to say. All right, this is Ian representing the Black Atheists. Good to be on the show. Gavel that. <laughs> and I am Gidon, the servant of the Creator Yah, and I'm honored to be a servant on the Arena Uncensored. <laughs> My name is Vince, aka Ghetto Messiah, uh, activist entertainment. Thank y'all for tuning in today. So I'm Brother Yango. Good to be here. That's about it. <laughs> Show crumb. All right, a yeah. couple of quick announcements. Uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Catch me hosting Wednesday night at Elegance Restaurant and Lounge, 54.99 Memorial Drive. Park? In Stone, no, it's That's by the Memorial, right? Memorial. On Memorial Drive, 54.99 Memorial Drive, Elegance Restaurant and Lounge. I'm hosting each and every Wednesday night. It is an artist showcase. Any artists, please uh, come out and perform. Uh, then Thursday night, we're downtown at the Museum Bar for Industry Night. Music, movie, TV, fashion, whatever you want, the Museum Bar Thursday night is the place to be. Thank you very much. Okay, <clears throat> with that, we have a very hot topic today. I know the topic was hot because when I was writing my note, my paper caught fire. <laughs> 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 All right, Marriage Equality Act. Um, 
I entitled this show a celebration of rainbows. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Because, and I did that for a reason, because I wanted to use it as a double entendre, because as we all know, the rainbow is the LGBT flag and this, that, and the other, and part of the controversy. LGBTQ. Stay with me. It, LGBT and LGBTQ. And they got to add another letter? letter. But the rainbow, right. the rainbow right. represents a celebration of diversity. Oh, like mercy so okay, and place. well, that's where the controversy comes in uh, with their symbol because the rainbow has long been a symbol of God telling the people of Earth that He wouldn't destroy Earth again, and no matter, no water. matter how, no matter how, right by water, oh, no matter how. Um, wow! They said you had well, that God I, said I mean, that's I mean that's that's part of the controversy behind the uh, the what? LGBT flag. That's the first time you I heard, heard that um, too. Yeah, yeah. God, yeah. I thought the cross was God. No, 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 no. no. Uh, hold when it, when hold he it. flooded, when he flooded the he Earth back in the day, he flooded. He sent the rainbow as a sign. Saying That's that he story. would never uh, destroy the earth. That is again. foolishness. Man. But okay, well, we're not gonna get. I, I'm just oh, right. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm giving the explanation okay, of why yeah, I gave that right. double entendre go ahead, go ahead. meaning, and with question marks behind question it, marks, as to loud. is it really a celebration? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna discuss that today on the show. Okay. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of controversy behind this topic. There are a lot of fours. There are a lot more against. So. And notice we have the table divided here for those who are for and against flat power. Well, okay, I don't know if that's necessarily so because <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't we're know. actually separated <laughs> I, by uh, something a little different, and right. I am not. Uh, I am not uh, impartial. I am the only person who identifies here as LGBT. So okay. I identify as bisexual. Thank you uh, for letting us in the audience know that, Don. Um, okay, Marriage Equality Act, um, June 26, 2015. The landmark case was called Ober Obergefell versus Hodges. It's the landmark Supreme Court case in which the court held in a 5-4 decision that the fundamental right to marry is guaranteed to same-sex couples by both the Due Process Clause and the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Um, can I explain something about that case? Yes, ma'am. That particular case, um, uh, I can't pronounce that name, and I'm glad that you tried to do it. Obergefell. Obergefell. Okay. So his partner um, was deathly ill, right? And they were boarding a medical flight to try to get, you know, try to get married in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the partner passed away, uh, because their marriage wasn't recognized, he in couldn't Ohio. have his name put mm -hmm. on the death certificate. Right. So that's what this whole case ultimately was about. He wanted to receive the rights and, you know, whatever else married couples receive when their spouses die. Um, Additionally, there was also the two nurses who had a number of foster children. There was a child who had been abandoned that they tried to adopt. And in their particular state, the only people who could adopt were um, people who were married. Married, that's right. Okay. And so... The Obergefell requires all states to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples and to recognize same-sex marriages validly performed in other jurisdictions. James Obergefell, the plaintiff who sought to put his name on his husband's Ohio death certificate, as Don just said, as the, as the surviving spouse said, today's ruling from the Supreme Court affirms what millions across the country already know to be true in our hearts, that our love is equal. So, my question to the panel, um, is it really a celebration? Is this something to be celebrated? Or is this something that, as many think, is an attack on Christians and faith and is tearing the country apart? Okay, I'm I one. actually, oh, oh, go ahead, yeah. yeah, there's actually, there's actually a lot more to that because um, for LGBTQ folks, LGBT, whatever, uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, et cetera, et cetera, the yeah, alphabet can right. actually be a lot longer than that. That's right. Um, this is a federal mandate that affects uh, social security oh, right. and, yeah. the, and, <laughs> and, and, and veterans affairs. Right. So yeah. if you think about some of the, some of the things that we take for granted, like, you know, for instance, if you are admitted into a hospital right. and, and, you know, there's a next of kin, here now, you know, someone's same-sex partner is now recognized as the next of kin. When it comes to Social Security benefits, when it comes to housing issues, right. when it comes wow. to housing, medical adoption. issues. So, adoption. Right. And um, <laughs> there was something, actually, that I found 
Um, some people felt that the next battle was going to be over adoption and oh. that the Catholic Church, the Catholic, uh, Catholic uh, adoption services or whatever, they get a lot of money from the federal government. And so this, this religious entity can actually deny you know, adoptions, which means you know, I, don't, I don't necessarily see a whole lot of people adopting children especially black and brown children who are left in the system. Right. And there are people who want to do that. Um, it also affects you know, medical insurance, you know, basic right. tax filing That's purposes. Right. Right. So, Everything. so for me, the, you know, and, and I have a mixed feeling as the only you know, queer person on the panel, I have a mixed feeling about this ruling because you know, I'm also black. You know, right. and as a black person, I don't see, I'm just like. Wait, wait a minute here, Donald. We give you Barack Obama. We didn't legalize <laughs> weed. I don't know. Oh, white son. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, so, you know, for me, it's like, you know, the rest of us, you know, this, you know, what, what you've seen probably over the mainstream media are a lot of white couples getting married. There have been black and brown couples wait, are getting you married, this is a race too. issue going on here? I would say that the LGBT movement is not a monolith, that the forefront and the face it's of white. this movement it's has white. been white. predominantly white. white. And so, you know, this has actually been uh, during that week, you know, where the, when the ruling actually happened, mm -hmm. there was a whole bunch of people doing an LGBT celebration in the room with, you know, Ob uh, Obama and Biden, I almost called him Biden, mm -hmm. Obama and Biden, and there was a Latina a uh, trans woman yeah. who said, hey, Obama, you know, this is like cool and everything, but what about the LGBT people who are in immigration detention centers, the violence they experienced? And you know what their reaction was? Was like, you know, shut up, this isn't about you, this everybody LGBT, out. White. Yes, <laughs> yes, shh. Which is actually something that people of color have experienced right. in LGBT movements for a while. So for so me- So they want federal laws to protect them, so now they want to be they want their own category as black homosexuals now or something? No. I mean, so, I mean, That's are not you the saying, issue. Are you the saying? issue is, is that, you know, we are not single issue people. Right. You know, mm -hmm. Audre Lorde tells us that we are not single issue people. So that means, you know, I am also a worker. I am That's also right. a but woman. It, I am also at black. At the same time, you know? being like you said, the, the, the Latino transsexual brought up the issue of, uh, uh, what the hell? See, uh, that was God. The, 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 <laughs> the Latino transsexual brought up the issue of um, what were you saying? Discrimination and violence. The in violence. Prison, violence right. in yes. prison. Violence in prison against uh, transgender. transgender people. Right. So what 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 he, he or she or she. she 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 wants what special rules or something? Well, I don't think it's special I mean, rules. She wants them to I go just find hey, y'all leave. Don't worry about the heterosexual Latino community because they experience. I agree. And stuff I too. totally agree. But since this person, they have special issues. Well, so the dinner, the, the dinner question. specifically. Which, which part of the jail do they go to? Like, if a woman is, she gets a sex change. She, she's a male. What, what part of the jail? Well, let me let me answer the fir the first okay, part. Yeah. So in this in this particular milieu. Um, you have an LGBT celebration dinner saying, you know, so right. that means in that section, you know, when we talk about, uh, when we talk about other issues, when we talk about fighting for the workers, you know, right. we, we mean, you know, all workers, right. we, we might, you know, we might talk about specifically black workers right. in a specific black space. Right. So this was a specific LGBT space. Right. Okay. This was, you know, everybody was just like, yay, Obama's cool. Wow, wow, wow. So that means this, the audience specifically was an LGBT audience. Mm -hmm. And so she's just like, you know, yeah, and, and her pronouns are she and her. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she was just like, yeah, so this is great about marriage, but what about the other issues that are faced by LGBT people? Not to exclude everybody else who's not LGBT, yeah. but it's a sort of like, if we're in a place and we're just like, yes, black people need to be able to do this, and we're like, well, what about these black people? I, I, I mean, it sounds exclusionary to me, because if, if, but it's if you're not. in there, if you're in there and the homosexual LGBTQ RF <laughs> XYZ got XYZ got it. <laughs> they have they have won a victory, and now it's like they okay, hadn't won yet. Well, I mean, well, they got the, the right to get married. How well, this month is this but month this is June. The month uh, the, the month was June even, before summer. Before someone. they can even pop the corks on the champagne, already 
she is talking about a whole nother category. Now you're talking about LGBT inside the prison, you know, inside the prison system. Man, prison. Let's talk about Sexual the mass incarceration of black people. The last thing Africans need to do is be dividing themselves again as we have a problem with mass incarceration of African people in America and for the African people who have a, um, a different sexual orientation from our, our homosexual to be dividing themselves into another category saying, hey, listen, so, yeah, we need saying? to address the issues no, no, no. of homosexual. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, him, let him finish, let him finish. Okay, well, no, no, no. so what you're saying, Yang, is that because she's saying that they're black and Hispanic LGBT. Right. So then there's still black issues. Right. So, so, the, so it's a black issue of mass incarceration. How does it get to be no, I, an LGBT immigration issue? What about if I was a Hispanic happened, person, though. I would be upset. That's not what happened. Because, you know, remember, in, in the particular room, they are talking specifically about LGBT issues. issues right. Right. And so what she was highlighting was that there are more LGBT so issues there's another than subgroup. just mass incarceration. There's another subgroup. Yeah, another another subgroup. Right. And I will say, in the right. state of Georgia, what I've personally seen, you know, shout out to Southerners on New Ground um, and other people who have been working for, you know, the liberation of all immigrants you know, regardless of sexual orientation, especially those that tend to be missed. Mm -hmm. um, I will also say that a lot of times there are people who talk about mass incarceration only when it comes to men. And then we bring up sort of like, guess who's the fastest growing Absolutely. population in prison? Mm -hmm. You know, women. Black women. And so even though, you know, th that is just, but, but see, the thing is, is that we're not trying to say we need to spend special attention on women being incarcerated. We're just saying, don't forget us too. I, I and so tell. in that space, she was saying, don't forget. But what they did was they didn't want to hear that because the LGBT movement has been specifically about marriage, marriage. Uh, um, uh, the right to go kill black and brown people across the world, which is the don't ask, don't tell. Okay, are you saying they should have a separate holding cell for transgender to avoid the violence that's inflicted on them? Well, I, I just believe mm -hmm. prison should actually be abolished. But. You know, oh, hold on, hold on. But that's basically, <laughs> no, I think no, that's no, what no. the Latino was saying, like they need a separate, okay. or, or, or something done because they're experiencing maybe ex and extra, I, 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 extra I, 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 violence. No, no, but, but, no, 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 it's legit, but what I, what I want to, this is my why it's, uh, Prison is actually not safe all, for anyone. First You're right. the topic that, that Vince forgot to mention is religious freedom. God dang it, I should be able to go up in my church. Well, we haven't race. gotten the religious freedom, but bring it on in here. I'm going to bring it on in here. <laughs> well, okay, we're going to talk about the state. Hold up. You're going to throw this in? I we're think, gonna, see, gonna that's you. my problem with the LGBT okay, community, especially Africans here in America who uh, 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 are homo homosexual. And this is a thing I say of the white left again, what the sister was talking about, women being the fastest growing population, not just women, but black and brown women. That's right. So that right. then we have to stop allowing ourselves as a people to be divided by white leftist tactics. They come what and is say, That's an argument. My about. question would also be is what is dividing us? Because here's what a lot of people have experienced. Um, a lot of times, and, and I say this both as a woman and as somebody who identifies as LGBT, a lot of times when people say, let's unify, it usually means shut up about you, oh. you know, basically follow us. Oh. And so what I would think is that among family, you know, because I consider black folks family, that we would deal with stuff within family. That the, you know, as Audre Lorde says, the master's tools will never dismantle the master's mm -hmm. house the tools of white supremacy, the tools of patriarchy, the tools of homophobia and transphobia. And so basically we would have to transform. And so, hey, black people want to come home to the black folks because we know that in LGBT spaces, like even Blake's, which is a popular gay bar here in, I think, in East Atlanta Village, they have a sign on the door that says, no hoodies, no this, no this, no that, which is code for... No black. Yeah. And, and so, but that is, but that is an example of a long-standing tradition of racism in the LGBT community. And so one of the reasons why a lot of our folks, you know, black, black and brown folks, were just like, okay, they don't accept us here, so we're gonna go over here, but they don't accept us because we're black and brown. In any way, and, and, and that's my whole and point. And so we wanna come home, but the thing is, is that in order to keep us from being divided, y'all better just welcome us. Okay, okay, let me say this real quick. She brings no, up that, a very good point. Right. I sent everybody on this panel. South Carolina had an issue with the Confederate flag after right. most people got gunned down, right? Yeah. 
Just a shout out to you, uh, Mr. Bright, Lee Bright. Lee Bright. You know, holding up the Confederacy. This man was one of the three senators that went to argue. We gonna win on three out of flag. thirty. We three out of thirty. We gonna keep this Confederate flag. So, how about he use his opportunity to talk about the LGBT mm. and black people by the droves backed him up like, yeah, yeah, them sissies, this and that. That's, I'm like, yeah, that's this crazy. This man. First of all, was, uh, was 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 supporting a flag that lynched your ancestors, right. and he just did a goddamn three money on you mm -hmm. just that quick. Now you're yeah. rooting for him. You, you see, right. so I'm glad you brought up that up because black people just switched like that. They forgot that this man was for the Confederacy, right? And had no 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 empathy for the nine people that got murdered, right? Exactly. But he wants to sit up there and rise up, church. We went go for the babies. Now to your point, black and now black people right now now they're rallying behind him. this. That's how you get it? That, and he got, it, he got and he got. It. I would say well, not God. all black people have done that. Well, the majority of black people, y'all know who y'all are in South Carolina. When I talk to them, they dismiss the Confederate flag, dismiss the nine people, and talk about, well, you know, the whole six new days. I was like, really? All right, well, let's talk about Mr. Lee Bright since you brought him up. And oh. I want to get the elder in here. After, exactly. after, That's his brother in Christ. After, after, I, I, after <laughs> I tell him what, what oh, Lee sorry. Bright said, the racist Lee Bright, and, and me, as a black the person, bright that black people in South Carolina are, are, back are backing, right? And I, me as a uh, black person, a black spiritual person, uh, I don't. What I don't think black people should be discriminated against anybody as right. much right. heck as we've right. caught since we've been in this country. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so to me, that's kind of being hypocritical in itself. Wait, wait, wait! How you feel about that, Gideon? That's your, that's your team. How you feel about? But in, in, in regards to, to it, which is why, which is why, hold on, hold on, he gonna let me. <laughs> Black sun. Which is why I had to clarify with, with, with uh, Ian earlier that I don't really do the Bible like most people, like, because I consider it to be a good book, but not the one and only source where you get God and all this and that. And, and for me, I know the Bible, I know the Bible says, hold on, I know the Bible says that, you know, being gay is supposed to be a abomination and, um, God, God, God not Adam and Steve. Um, and so, but for me, in my spiritual um, knowing, is that God is love, and and I believe that God loves all His children. So for me, it's hard to imagine that He's. But Vince, what about people who believe that God said that? Right, God that's what, and that's what my issue is my because I believe that gay. I believe I t and I told listen you this, I told you this before about being church, an atheist. Right. We listen here in my church, men and women get married. We should have the right to refuse anybody. But I what I told you as an atheist, I, well, I believe grown people have the right to do whatever they want to yeah. do in life as and long as as long as it doesn't impose. On anybody else. Do you think that imposes? But I would also I say, well, same sex marriage. I would also add, to, to a certain degree. Well, I, I would also How does that add. This, I, I, I would also I, add that sometimes when we talk about these religious free rights, it's interesting that it always comes to people's personal behavior and getting married. You know, we have people clerks quitting in droves. Yeah, yeah. Know, because I, they refuse. A lot of I states. say let them go because that means there's some job no. openings. Open. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would also say is that these are the same people who will go ahead and, you know, like Dylan Roof, if he has a cold, they'll go ahead and treat him. You know, they'll go, you know, their religious freedom doesn't seem, because the, the Bible in Galatians 5.19, I Do believe, said, uh, Galatians 5.19, I think it's 5.19 that says the, the acts of the civil, sinful nature are obvious. And it talks about greed. It also Where talks I, about everything I else. Didn't slip. And yeah. so didn't the, the thing is, is that I don't see these same people turning away murderers, turning away anybody mm -hmm. else. Wait. Like if somebody Get murders somebody, they will marry them in a Get in. Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Let me, let, let so, me say this. Like, whatever. Because I do, I do go back in and I do think of it. I believe in democracy. And I believe wherever you have the majority of a people, if I live in a state that is, uh, and I'm not a Christian, but is traditionally conservative or Christian base, and the people have voted, the people have said in this state, this is what we want. I don't believe that federal government has the right to intervene. Whoa. And come into the come into the state. My, my mm -hmm. I got to stop you, Yanga. Talk to me. A democracy also uh, it, it ensures the rights of every citizen. And every it ensures, taxpayer. It, it, it ensures the rights of every citizen and taxpayer. And taxpayer too, to, right. Every sex, citizen and taxpayer, it ensures their right. But if the people have spoken, if their representative the people have have spoken, if, if, yep. if their representative have spoken and the majority of the people have spoken, then I think that at the same time, if you got this. Whoa, 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 Yanga, Yanga, hold on. 
We might it was only three. In the South, if that's the case. It was only three. Hold on, hold on. You know, yeah. 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 We almost did, but they yeah. lost the war. If they won the lost, yeah. it, wasn't because, it wasn't because of no vote. They didn't lose the war. It basically, wasn't basically, Lincoln wanted to, cru you know, wanted so the to South crush the South. The South, the they South didn't lose the war. Lincoln wanted to crush the South by basically uh, the with, through the Emancipation exactly. Proclamation. So they lost oh. the war, sweetie. They lost <laughs> whatever tactics they whatever tactics they used. The South lost the war. If not, we wouldn't be sitting there having this conversation. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm not saying Lincoln was no good white boy and all of a sudden had to change your heart, but I'm saying all, everything they do is tactical. Even the homosexual marriages, all of this are tactics. All of these are for a bigger picture. But what I'm saying is... Well, what bigger much, tactics? What, how, what bigger how, tactic is this for? Oh, I'm going to get to that later. Ooh. We can get to, I'll let, I'll all right, all right. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Remember that, what you this said about the tactics. I'm going to get to that. I'm saying that this is one of the things, this is a diversionary tactic to address the issues of African people right here in America, to divide us further That's along what she the said, though, orientation. She may be saying that, but at She's the same time, that. if she advocates this homosexual, this transgender, talking about that we got transsexuals in prison being beat that's, up. That's right, uh, that's, that's Hispanic, that's not white. Well, no, but the thing is, I mean, I mean, Yanga, that, that was issue, in that space. Whoa, 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 that was in that whoa, space, whoa, 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 though. Whoa, 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 whoa. They were in an whoa, LGBT Yanga, space, Yanga. so they were speaking to LGBT people. Done. Okay. Go ahead, then. Calm down. To your point about the people not wanting same-sex marriage, a Pew Research study recently showed that support for same-sex marriage rose from 37% in 2009 to 57% in May of this year. Absolutely. Um, now, back right. to Lee. Well, like, you just said the back, when the polls are homosexual. Now, now you, just say, you, can take, you can take it. You can take the Pew nah. research. You can take the, pre the, the Pew research however you want with a grain of salt. I, let me get this quote from Lee Bright, and I'm getting my elder Gideon in here because he's been sitting here patiently, man. Yeah, yeah. But you brought up Lee Bright, the, the racist who and the flag, and he, White power? he took his moment talking about the Confederate flag to talk to address same-sex marriage, and he said, and I quote, "It is a national sin." Same-sex marriage. We are one nation under God, but we're going to be uh, a nation one, going under. <laughs> right, we're going to be one nation gone under. Like Ronald uh, Reagan said, because we've allowed five judges to sanctify deviant behavior. That's one of your favorite words. <laughs> Shout out to Gideon. Uh, it's time. It's time to take a stand, church. The devil is taking. The devil is taking control of this land, and we're not stopping it. I believe that Christ teaches us to love the homosexual, but he also teaches us to stand in the gap against sin. I know that we need to support and love our brother, but we cannot respect this sin in the state of South Carolina, so I'm asking you to deal with same-sex marriage. Elder Gideon. Hold on, hold on. First of all, he's violating separation of church and state. Let's define that. That's true. Let's define that. Well, because that's one well, thing Gideon that religious said people say. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, Gideon. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> no, 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 I'd like to hear what Ian has to say because I haven't Obama. really heard his uh, thesis or thoughts in reference to this particular topic as it pertains to uh, same sex no, I, marriage. No, I believe they have the right to get married and they have the right to get all the benefits that all straight people do. Yeah, because yeah, I want to make something right. clear about right. this particular ruling. It has nothing to do with legalizing somebody's behavior. I mean, people have been marrying exactly. for years. Right. Not they're not going to stop doing it. What they're trying to do is gain the same rights so they can live benefits. their lives. Right. So exactly. that means what he's so against is them getting their benefits. That's right. That's yeah, what that's he's right. against. Well, let me ask you this. And I don't have a problem, you know, politically, really. I don't have a problem. I think that there's no representation. I mean, uh, no taxation without representation. Right. What I'm saying is this, though. If people in a state have a like the same way weed ain't legal in every state, take your ass to Colorado and get married. If a state says, mm -hmm. and we the majority of this state say that right now we don't want it for whatever re reason, religious, morally, ethically, whatever, we don't want this in, does how much involvement does the federal government have in states' issues? That's the point that I'm. That's the point that I'm trying to make. But these the have not been based state, on the people. This has been based on the people's representatives for whatever reason. Here in the state of Georgia, the people here in, in in Georgia wanted Medicaid expansion, but the governor didn't want it. That's right. So the thing who is, who put the is governor that, in place though? Those well, people that want Medicaid expansion. Yes. Yeah, but see, the thing exactly. is, the is that voted, the, the people, people who voted Gideon. <laughs> we can want what we want to want, but if we don't. Yeah, take but the that actions, doesn't represent the people's mood. That doesn't how, represent how, how it at all. How do we know that? Because the people haven't spoken if they haven't. They went are to, speaking. With the, how are they speaking? They are speaking. Well, if they have spoken well, out through writing. Well, your representative is your spokesman. 
Uh, yeah, well, you already know that the LGBT <laughs> have spoken on many levels. They've been speaking for years. But I'm going to tell you right. something. They've been speaking and they're these allies. Don't these 13 states, these 13 Don't states get mad. they're not speaking loud enough. The, right. well, the thing is, is that the states, um, by the way, you know, they have active marriage bans. And sometimes even the way they define laws can be kind of tricky. Like here in the state of Georgia, there is a medical marijuana law that has been around since 1980. That's right. However, this particular law has like some language that actually prevents it from being an effective law. And so what was passed through before was defining marriage between a man and a woman. It did not say a ban against. So people look, they're just like, well, yeah, marriage is between a man and a woman. That's true. Boop. You know, and so that's what happens. <laughs> they do that with a lot of different rulings. You and in fact, we have yeah. we have voted through a lot of stuff where we're like, wait, I didn't vote for that. Yes, you did, because they put the language in there in well, such a way. So well, we have to well, be a lot more watchful as people. Like a right to work know, state. Get it, you ready? Like that is part you of ready? the state. What does right to work? I like right to work. That sounds great. Because I right got a point. Work, you point. could get fired. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, Elder Gideon. Oh, he's gonna grab the oh, mic. Grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you getting serious, boy. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it's interesting because what we're really talking about is culture, and as a Hebrew, uh, I have to reflect upon the ancient legacy of my people. And Gideon, yes, sir. Do you acknowledge homosexuality in the culture. Can it, he he just let started him, talking about this. Okay, go go Let him finish, black. Oh, when sorry. it pertains to the reality of uh, men loving men and women loving women, I have to look at my king, King David, and Jonathan, which was uh, Saul, his son. Mm -hmm. King David and Saul loved each other. They loved each other beyond that of a, between a man and a woman. What? Jonathan and David. King David and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said so. Well, no, the people who <laughs> read that Bible know that it's yeah, accurate. It's, they it's kissed accurate. each other. See, that's why they disrobed in front of each other. And then I have to look at the supreme king, Yeshua. On Passover, it was indicated that uh, Yeshua had on a, a, a loincloth, which is a towel, and mm -hmm. he had the uh, follower that he loved laying in his breast, on his chest. You know, the men don't man. have breasts. <laughs> you're not going to disrespect uh, well, Jesus Christ. I, I think you're on the wrong side of the <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get in. Go on, get in. Go on, get in. Tell, tell the people, get in. Tell the people, get in. It is. Go on, get in. You going to jump the ship on Go on, get in. Go on, get in. Right, right. I know so. All right, hold up, hold up. Right. I got to hear this. Right. I got to hear this. <laughs> I, said, I, I said all that to say the reality of the existence of love between individuals of the same sex is, in fact, a reality. Right. Now, when we get to deviant behavior oh, see, and how <laughs> that deviance and perversion is a, uh, a stigma, White it house. is a... Uh, at the antithesis of that which is holy and right, it has to do with the natural order. It has to do with the ability to control one's carnal nature. Okay. Because what we all have is the ability to love and respect one another. Right. But there have to be boundaries, just like our bodies have boundaries. Right. Our bodies don't come out into a mass to where it's unlimited. They grow to a certain point and they have boundaries. Our hair has boundaries, our head, everything has boundaries. So when you cross boundaries, whether it's natural or spiritual, then you begin to breach the order which things were created. Just like the body, as I indicated, has a natural boundary. Just like our hairline, the shores of the ocean. If they cross the boundaries, then life ceases to exist unless you're aquatic. So when we look at the reality of the existence of individuals being able to love each other, that's a given. When we look at how the system has set up a mandate for being able to create contracts so that they can make money, that's what you find in the American agenda to not only to destabilize the family and to corrode the concepts of the natural order, but to be able to profit off of it all at the same time. Because the entities that we call the government 
and the legal team that they have that sponsors all of their, they're loving this because they're going to get filthy rich mm -hmm. as lawyers. And as we saw the two uh, athletes that were same sex. Brittany Griner. And beating the hell out of each other yeah. because of whatever their personal situation was. There are going to still be issues that come up in same sex marriages as well as we have in heterosexual marriages. Hold on, hold on, brother, because Yanga don't know where you at with okay. the Brittany. <laughs> well, you know, well, um, well, Brit uh, Brittany, Brittany Griner is a, a, oh, a professional, professional basketball WNBA player. Mm -hmm. basketball player. Mm -hmm. Her and her uh, fiance, mm -hmm. a couple of months ago, they had a domestic situation. Right. So he's basically saying the same thing okay. going on in um, and the uh, and yeah. the sexual deviant and when I use the term so deviant, yeah, sexual deviant. <laughs> it yeah, is a deviant. legal term that associates itself with uh, what they sodomy, which is a, another legal term that was defined by a specific behavior that referenced a historical event that took place in ancient biblical antiquity. Sodom so, and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So what we find is as the, the terminology, ideology, and philosophy of America uh, evolves or devolves to be able to make the uh, legal establishment the 1% more money and to give them more control because, see, what a legal document does is give the government and the overseeing entities control in right. one of the most personal things that can ever happen between two individuals. You don't no, need yeah. to go to a governmental we're entity. In general. We're talking about um, okay. same-sex marriage. Well, but I, I mean, but it, I will, it's the same. I want to address the, what you said about uh, the destabilization. Uh, yeah, the the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the family. So, right. so essentially denying these people these rights because there are already families. There are single parent families. There are same gender families, different gender families, extended families. Family is actually a lot broader. And so when you deny people a certain amount of rights, can you imagine what would happen if there was a, a same sex couple and one of them dies and they have children? What's going to happen? They're not going to be recognized. Yeah. And so when we talk about, and plus, ain't nothing more destabling than capitalism and white supremacy. Mm. And so it's interesting well, that, what, people, what hey. that people seize on same-sex marriage because of possibly their personal discomfort. You know, because basically all this is, is is something with the state. Sort of like, okay, according to the state, you have these rights, whatever. People been getting married. Well, let me just conclude by simply saying this, that when you look at the deviant and its behavior and how it is defined okay, I have within. A problem I would like to say, how do you feel about that word behavior. deviant? How well, do you feel about that? Because I can language, see your here's, here's the thing with language. Even though language definitely has a denotation, words have denotations, they also have connotations. Shout right. out to so I know and they have you're origins. not using oh, deviant in a positive way. Right. You're using it in a pejorative way. And so when you say deviant, it's you know, you're, it sounds like you're already making that person unhuman. No, you know? and, deviant, I, as, and as being the and, resident deviant well, at this table, <laughs> I prefer like I she and her pronouns. Well, man, if you can take a penis, you can take a joke. Right. Ain't no, ain't no way. Well, no well let me you define. Know what? Let, let me know. And, and, and you know what? No. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, there's a difference between jokes and there's also a difference between a lot of violence that come along with that joke because right. you can also right. say a white person can go ahead and say nigga to a black person. Well, let me do that. That's, that. Thank you. That's my point. But well, let me let 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 me let me let me just conclude by saying <laughs> simply this. <laughs> The term deviant is a legal term, just like sodomy right. is a legal term. Uh -huh. So if an individual wants to define him, because we are much more complex yeah. than but our sexuality. Like, hey, so as we define ourselves by our sexuality, I like to use the legal term so that relates to the concept that you in, invoke get in, get in, by sexual. Get in. My brother, can I save you as my brother? Ooh. Oh, no. The non-religious no, 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 man no, no, wants no, no, to save him. No, I want to save him. I want to save him. No, no, because what you're saying no longer exists. If you call 
what you're saying, that is a hate crime. Exactly. So let me get you up exactly. to date, bro. That you're, you're talking about some old school McCarthy <laughs> back in the goddamn civil rights. See, this, Say that now. No, and what I'm talking off, about is Black's nigga. Law Dictionary. You ain't gonna and it can man. be defined. But let me conclude man, by saying let this. Conclude. Let him conclude. The now. issue no. of <laughs> sexual deviance in this country, even though it has been legitimized by the majority right, so of the people, has to do with the culling of the flock. And what do I mean by that? The creator, my creator, does not need numbers. The people that have sanctioned, have bought into, and began to promote this type of lifestyle are part of the people that ultimately will be destroyed by their own lifestyle because we know sexual deviance cannot reproduce. Can't go. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. And before All you right. jump, in, before you respond. All right. Because I'm, I'm going to get, I'm I'm gonna get I'm back gonna. to that tactic, and it's following on I'm what go, he I'm just coming. said. It's following I what he just said. The bee stings, well, they we, coming. well, we talked about tactic before, and because I've always heard the term gay agenda, gay agenda, gay agenda. Okay, and I was, I was always like, what is the gay agenda? Because I'm like, I have gay male friends and gay female friends. And of color, right? To, of color. And so, I'm like, right. there's no, I, I've never heard of this agenda that people talk about. But researching for the topic today, I came across um, something that said the gay agenda is all about population control, mm -hmm. which goes to what he just said. Mm -hmm. And I had never, when I thought about it, I was like, okay, thinking about what he said about the people in the power, the elite, and how much money they gonna make off of this. Um, Conspiracy theory? Hey. Oh, it's legit. It, I've, did I've did, you, did that you hear too. what he said before, I, before I back this up? I've With, heard that too. Okay, he said okay, that. Okay, and right. so, and I'm not saying I necessarily believe this. I just, when, when I heard it, it, made some sense to me as far as the term gay agenda went because I, I didn't know what this I always hear but I'm like what is the gay agenda but that made sense to me now, I'm not saying I believe that but how do you respond okay. to that Don? well see one thing I that I find that. one thing that I find ridiculous is that we're talking about all this population control through two people loving each other meanwhile we're going across the world destroying people with bombs destroying people through poverty and literally killing black people in the streets You're right so wow. I find it interesting that you know that population control is is not enough you know because they said the same thing about the birth control bill uh, right pill. They did um, say the same Tony thing Cave and Barra wrote an Parenthood. essay where she you, you know where they've like hey you know this birth control pill it's it's going it's here to kill the black community right and so mm -hmm. it's your job Grand to parenthood. basically give birth to revolutionaries yeah. and my sister said hey you know maybe you should take care of those revolutionaries that already exist additionally we also assume that people who are in same gender relationships don't have kids and do not give birth to kids. I have friends Very of mine true. who have children. Very true. One, Very true. one just popped. Very true. Okay. Right. You know, and in fact, actually, I have a friend of mine who I went through women's studies with, excuse me, where she was grateful, a black friend, she was grateful because basically it protected her family. Well, you know, these rights protected her family. Well, so right, they're having that. kids. Now, People are having kids. Here's my thing. This, this, is, this is what I have on two fronts. Here's what I have a problem with on, on, on two fronts. One, like I said, it divides. This issue here, we find more people of African descent, more Africans here in America fighting for the legalization of same-sex marriage or homosexual rights than they do for the rights of their ethnicity. I or, do agree. Or, or who they are. I Secondly, do agree. Secondly, it takes away, in, to ensure their freedoms, takes away from some of our freedoms. You know, I can't, in this country, I can't have more than one wife. I know, right. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to I that. I can't polygamy. There's a man. Polygamy just is applied. He, but, but exactly, and it's some should be fought. But polygamy is illegal. Right. Um, you can't. There's certain things religious. Based on Christian values, right? Based on Christian values, religious. But that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Yes. I mean, but it's but illegal. Sure. My, my wives, if I had more than one wife, only one wife could get benefits. Mm -hmm. I can right. send out with the medical. Mm -hmm. The same right, thing, right, the same right, argument right. that right. my homosexual mm -hmm. counterparts have is the same arguments mm -hmm. the polygamists could have. Yeah. Right. Secondly, I think um, religious religious freedoms. There's certain places that people can't go in, sisters can't go in with veils or cover their dress a certain That's way. That's right. right. So because they're terrorists. Right, exactly. Right. So you have you have you have these people, you have a lot of people who freedoms are taking and other things are being imposed on them. In the schools, they're teaching alternative lifestyles. Right. What the hell is an alternative lifestyle? If I teach my child in my home. Okay. Let me address no, that. They have, they have an elementary you. book now. No, 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 no. King That's why King. I agree with you. See that. what I'm saying? No, 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 gay relationship. Hold on. Let me talk about. Let me explain myself because I don't want, because Don's giving me the evil eye right okay. there. <laughs> I agree 
that it shouldn't be taught because it's an individual culture, Gideon. Right. This is how you do tactics. If you have it labeled as a culture, then you cannot impose it. So let the LGBT say, it. yeah, it is our culture. That way they can't impose it in the schools. Exactly. Well, well, well wait, see, the let same me, people that, yeah, well, yeah, let, that, let me, let me break it down. Cause actually I agree with what Yanga is saying right. that, you know, you know, people with veils should be able to have veils. Uh, there are a lot of people, terrorists? there are, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are a lot of people who have, you know, like multiple relationships, polyamorous relationships where, you know, poly faithful uh, groups and stuff like that. So like oh, I said, like King Abdullah in Saudi Arabia who just died had 32 No, oh, no, okay. no, no. There are people. See, here's the thing. A lot of us seem to think that everybody seems to have this really nuclear, which is very friendly to capitalism, by the way, That's right. and, and how power? property ha is, is being dispersed. You know, this one person, one, one person, one male, one other person. But there are people who have multiple wives, multiple husbands, multiple partners. Who do you think about there are different. The That's what I want to ask you. Well, here's the thing. Your kids come from different homes. I heard some people talk about, well, you know, I don't think you should be introducing sexual content to kids. I agree. I do think that we do over-sexualize our kids. But then it's sort of like, well, you do know that you are encouraging a specific lifestyle when you have, you know, mommy and Sexual, daddy yeah. do this. That is a specific heterosexual lifestyle. You all seem to think that gay people and I see, and I use gay very usefully because that's how you all are using it. Right. Not all of us are gay. Sexuality right. Right. is right. actually right. very, very complicated. We got you. Um, you know, I date both men and women, but um, you have kids that actually become, you know, when they get older, they're they're thinking about these thoughts. You know, when I think about when uh, you know I first first started looking at women, I was very young. So the thing is, is that what people are trying to say is that, well, we don't want you teaching our kids to be gay. And I'm just like, hey, you know what? Straight people do give birth to gay people. Absolutely. Okay. Well, okay, saying, okay we're, we're, saying, we're saying that certain, what, what I'm saying is this. It's like you said, and this is not, I'm not speaking directly from mine because I, I found out the other day I have a uh, atheist 10-year-old. You know what I'm saying? That he don't really... So, but I am saying this. Yes, but, yes. But for, for, <laughs> See, he's imposed out, his right, lifestyle on your side. But, but I am saying and this and for, for, our, for our religious households and everything like this, that that is the prerogative of the parents to teach a certain way and a certain mm -hmm. standard and a certain custom and culture in their home. Mm -hmm. And so if their children may have these thoughts and they may teach their children that these thoughts are not right according to the way they live, mm -hmm. then okay. no one has the right, especially a state-sponsored place, to tell these children you have an alternative, that your parents are wrong, that your religion is wrong, right. that there is an alternative, and that it's okay to be with the same sex. They don't have the right to teach your children that, but things are being forced upon us. What, is, what exactly hold on, hold on, is hold on, being forced? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the whole, whole same-sex conversation. Hold I on. have to have the whole same-sex conversation now that all of this is going on by, like, if I'm on the train, like I said, here's a prime example. I'm on the train, and two dudes are on the train, and they are, and my child said, Ugh! And see, I thought I'm going to have to knock the shit out of a stump. Oh, what's up? Stuff? Hey, oh, 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 oh. mess out of one of them because of, the, because of the look that I received. But I'm telling them, this is, you're dealing with a six-year-old right. who is raised a certain way and has a certain understanding, and this is just how we get out in my house. I don't raise them that it's cool to be loving on a brother. I let me, let me, like, let me. Oh, okay, can I make a disclaimer real quick? Go ahead. I had nothing to do with uh, Yanga's son becoming an <laughs> atheist. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I have two scenarios. Uncle Black son. Look, <laughs> I have two scenarios, and I want to get some opinions starting with Elder Gideon and then Ian. Okay. Um, Not me. I, I said them and then others. Uh, okay, there were two scenarios. One happened last week, which was a gay teacher mm. um, reading a children's book called King and King to his elementary class. King and King. Which is about a gay relationship. Um, and he said he felt the need to do that because one of the little boys in the class was had feminine ways and the other kids were Teasing. picking on them. Right. And so he was trying to uh, so teach, teach him. Un him no, 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 he's out of there. There was no, oh, <laughs> they, they fired him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, Get out of there. also there are two gay pastors, I believe they're here in Atlanta, and they're raising an adopted daughter. So good, bad, and different? Well, what, what? Uh, the school system is a, the school system is a microcosm of white supremacy, which is 
uh, this very manifesto is designed for our genocide as a people. Okay. Because Greek, Roman, all of these European nations by their culture define uh, deviant sexual behavior is a part of their culture, not only with uh, humans, but with animals. Because see, that's the next venture that we're going to see oh, because no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Stop. Oh, no. Stop. no 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 that, no, that no, is, no no that is no, actually no, no, no. legitimate about animals well, hold on. Yes. Because, about because animals? they were all CNN having the same discussion because the guy was like where's the it, this could be opening a Pandora's a, box absolutely. because it's going to be like this. polygamy and then animals yeah, and where's it going to stop are there people are there people who have relationships with animals absolutely yes absolutely there was a married couple in South Carolina two months ago, got arrested because the, the wife was, no, the wife was sleeping with dogs, dogs. and the, the husband was videotaping it, then right. they watched it together, and then they'd have sex together. Exactly. You can't blame that on homosexuality. No. That's the no, she said it's not happening. So oh, I gave her. No, no, no. I said, are there relationships? Yeah, there are. Like, are well, there? Well, no, like, there's, there's, a man, are, there's a man that. Uh, there are uh, sexual uh, acts. What but, they're saying is opening. The, the, what he's saying is it, not blaming it, the homosexuals. Right, blaming but it can open that Pandora's box. But it's the door as what is defied. Like we start about polygamy, polyandry, right. bestiality. What is what? Where yes. does the line? If a man love no. his car, that was a man. You gonna get mad at a man? Right. Let me let me let me let me review. Well. Let, me, let me say something to that. Okay. No taxation without representation. Oh, okay. It's just that okay. Simple. okay. Okay. Don't okay. Tax. Okay. Jump in there. Okay. Now. Hold it. Hold it. Hold okay. it. Hold it. Hold it. Because honestly, I don't, I don't understand exactly what you mean by that. But <laughs> when we're talking about human relationships, okay. Okay. And, and so the thing is, is that those relationships are already happening. And so when two people who have self-consciousness are going to, you know, two consenting adults are going to a place and saying, hey, you know, I am the partner for this, your next of kin, whatever, whatever, yeah, that is right. an issue. So we can debate all day long about whether but, it's right to be gay, it's not right to be gay, whatever. Right. But the thing is, is that if you are trying to say that this nation is going down because you have given rights That's to people, people that people you have saying. denied, a lot of people are interestingly saying. enough, we have tortured people, we right. have right. we have dropped right. bombs. Right. You know, on right. Nagasaki and Hiroshima, right. you know, Amer and in fact, what I believe King's in America, last they speech. Bombs. Oh, that's right, right. Moon, Moon, oh, oh, Moon, oh, so, 1985. Yeah. And so, interestingly enough, we have committed as a nation all of these other sins, and we don't even take care of the poor, the people in prison. Yeah. We don't yeah. care. Well, now, right. two people, that's two consensual man. adults. Want some rights so they can live their lives. Yeah. Now you talk about. So, well, you know, let me hold on. Let me just say this to codify what I, I brought out a document that had was these senators. It's already been legalized in the military for military personnel to have sex with animals. Right. And I had the senators' they names rape. that hold were up. written down that agreed to it. So in the military arena is a microcosm of the. Uh, the global community or the European community, I'll just say that. So, uh, go ahead. And if a, if a man consistently has sex with a dog, is that not a relationship? Come on. And if he no. feels, <laughs> and if he feels, no, there, look, no. the no, man, no, you can't a dog cannot consent. No, 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 no. A dog cannot consent. But the conversation. No, the, the dog conversation, cannot no, consent. If this man says that my dog loves me no, and no, he, no, we cuddle every listening. night you know you're and not we sleep together. A dog cannot consent. It's like a baby. How do you know the dog is not consent? How do you know the dog is not? How do you know the dog is not consent? How do you know the dog? No, you're domesticating the dog. And back his little booty up on this man. thing. How do you know the dog is not consent? You're domesticating the dog. You know what? I just, I just, that's forced behavior. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying that's forced behavior. How do you know? That's forced behavior. How do you know? How do you know the dog? You're not telling me how the dog's not consenting. Well, the animals come in estrus. Animals come in estrus. So when they they come in estrus then they are open for sexual activity just like a female when she's horny or it comes in well, estrus well, it's the same thing a man d is are you talking about human behavior or animal behavior well we well when we, 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 well, without, without law because i'm not we are we are nothing but animals that's what the biblical religious like community yeah. brings is a morality beyond animal behavior right. you do know yeah. some right. christians disagree yeah, with that yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. and then i'm not you know, and let, me, let me get my disclaimer out there yeah. <laughs> No way am I 
equate it, homosexuality with bestiality or any or any of these I'm things. I'm not like equating that. it I'm to not, it. I'm saying the conversation is out there, yeah, though. The, con- the no, conversation no, 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 is out there. I'm saying is my argument is my my argument is an infringement on everybody's rights. Let me first explain what he meant by no taxation without representation. Yes. We're saying that we're well, saying that got... it's according to my Allah opinion. Okay. <laughs> no, the mic. Uh, the, the mic. mic. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, the okay. mic. Uh, <laughs> that my thing. My my thing is my thing is this. Um, when he's talking about no taxation without representation, that if uh, people are forced to pay taxes, uh-huh. then they are entitled to the same privileges and benefits of said government that they're paying taxes to. Yes. Right. If you're forcing the homosexual community to pay taxes, then they should be entitled to the same privileges and benefits of our, of every other, and which was the whole so-called civil rights movement. Right. So I don't have a problem with that. One of the things I do know is that the civil rights movement was the downfall, the integration was the downfall Uh-oh. of Africa in America. <laughs> and that one of the things that we have, and this is what we have to That's really right. take a serious look at as African people, that my rights, as if I wanted to go somewhere just say, hypothetically, if I was homophobic or anti-homosexual, whatever, and I wanted to go somewhere in a state or a place that I didn't have to raise my children to be exposed to this, then my very rights, according to the federal government, have been taken from me. That's right. That's that's the point that I'm making. So and let me let me so let me right let me just say this down. as it pertains to the animals I'm before I forget this point. Oh, we gonna go back to the because it's a real police thing. police real dogs thing. police dogs you can be not only arrested. But you can be put in, well, put in yeah, jail and yeah. given time Definitely up to 30 one, years, not only for no, killing, life, but just kicking one. one yeah. Because yeah. they yeah. have, Police. they have, yeah. they are called officers. Yeah. Right. They are officers just like a human being. So that same right that they've afforded these animals that is the same right an individual can invoke that is a bestiality right. individual. Exactly. That so that you're seeing this is a slippery slope when you begin to Pandora cross That's what these saying. concepts if you children, and open up. If you kill children, on, then in, you in. can go to jail for that. But that doesn't mean that children can consent to an adult relationship. Exactly. Also, if you're incarcerated, they do not consider that you can consent to a sexual relationship with uh, yeah, with a correctional uh, officer. Oh, that's right, yeah. So basically how I our nation has defined too. consent. Like I'm like, there's a lot of that going on, too. That dog I mean, is I'm not bondage. saying that it isn't going on. Yeah. But again, what we're, right, not, what we're talking right. about yeah. is that people who are trying to live their lives are now given something to make it easier for them to live their lives. They are not trying. They, the gay people are already there. You guys are yeah. already there. <laughs> Now, what you might be talking about is sort of like the, the right to uh, uh, have religious freedom, meaning right. if you're a church, you know, you don't want to marry. I figure, you know, there are plenty of other churches where folks can get I'm married. Not, just, so not just religious freedoms, cultural freedom. We're saying, I'm saying this. Right. This so is my argument. Right. If you have 13 states that say they don't acknowledge it, does the federal government have a right to implement and enforce this? On these particular states. What about segregation? Yeah, there. yeah because you right. know there were. You know, I'm an advocate of, of separation, though. So I mean, that's, I that's said, wait, hold on, man. I said segregation. I say separation. Segregation, segregation is separation. Right. Right. At the time of the Freedom Rides in 1961. I don't believe that it, the, the down part of segregation to me was someone else controlled the resource. That's right. You understand that's what right. I'm saying? What can I'm I ask? Saying is, can I ask this up? question? Yeah, yeah, we gotta wrap it up. Let me ask this question. Could they have come up with an alternative? to legalize and gay marriage so that spouses right. could receive benefits? I can answer that, no. No. The, the, the insurance companies, will, the, the hospitals, no. all the whole economical structure is not gonna recognize. Let me just say we, as a capitalist, we wanna keep <laughs> our hands that in capitalism, and that money, the, the money, money. Gideon was talking about. That's why it's federal, about they wanna the keep money. their hands in that pocket. Right, that's what Gideon that's said earlier. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, at what point does a state have that state autonomy? How does the federal government? The minute you go to war. States' rights, first of all, states' rights are always in the beginning. You know, a lot of the Tea Party, they talk about states' rights when basically they are hurting people of, you know, African descent in this country. You know what I would tell the people? The people that are hurting of African descent are two people. People who want to immigrate and people who want to integrate and people who want to assimilate. If you got a place that doesn't want me, get the hell out of that place. Uh Uh-huh. If Georgia says, well, this, we're not going to free the Negroes, as long as you're not hindering this Negro from leaving Georgia, I'm but out of here. they did hinder they Negroes did. from leaving. Exactly. <laughs> like you said, That's where the police did. evolved from, they, slave they, catchers. They did. Yes. They did. That's but in this did. day and time, 
They this, still this, do this, that's economically. This, in this day yeah, and time, economic. they did in this. What I'm saying is yes. that every state, to a certain degree, mm -hmm. should have a right to uh, um, a right to defy its moral, its ethic code. Well, you got a couple of states yeah, fighting back. But that moral ethic state, code does not include health care, does, does, does not include taking care of the poor. We live in a state where they make women in, who are incarcerated women take give birth in shackles. You know, how mm -hmm. is it we're going to be all kind of like up about? Sure. Yes. We got about two minutes. Yeah. Okay. The, two minutes. Yeah, not, one, those are issues that need to be, those are issues that need to be addressed. But I don't believe the federal government should force anything on any people. Well, we got some states fighting back. Uh, North Carolina, they just recently passed a law for magistrates to opt out of same-sex marriages right. for religious reasons. Uh, the Texas Attorney General basically called the ruling lawless. Uh, Alabama, they got people refusing to issue marriage license. Arkansas, Kentucky, Ohio, Tennessee. So it is some states well, out there, there still pushing back. But there are three states that are actively doing it. In Texas, they're they're sending people around. Uh, but uh, a lot of those states already have existing bans, and the federal law you know, removes those bans. Georgia itself, now, Georgia is not let, one of those that let, are denying let, people marriage. Let me say something oh, to them no. states. Buck up. Buck up. Buck up. Yeah, buck up. <laughs> buck up. Let's see what happens. Buck up on the federal rise up, Bro, for buck real. Up. Rise Look. Rise up. And, rise and, up. and one Let's of the snap. websites I was on today said, up. if you don't succeed, Try and try again. <laughs> so I guess they were pushing. <laughs> he was pushing for the, it. was in this article here. They was pushing for them states to try right, to right. So this is to them. Yeah, this is to them. Dang, non state. You're non black. <laughs> but what it is is Jump that up and get beat down what we find is this is a worldwide system. Yeah. yeah. White supremacy. Yeah. Uh, European domination is a worldwide system, and yeah. their philosophical points of view like same-sex marriages and other that go against natural order that is a part of their mandate for the world. So as globalization takes place and as the wealthy continue to try to keep their whole I mean, yeah, yeah. resources. How do you feel about say, going against first, natural order? First of all, first of all, you know, this whole <laughs> natural order thing and stuff like that, asking. that is some bull stuff right okay. there. Also, Explain. I keep hearing about you know, we gotta, you know, we're so concerned about same gender people oh, okay. getting the it's right to marry, getting the right to have these benefits. Where is everybody's passion and stuff against the United States import, that, exporting war we're, on we're other doing, countries? That's that is all we do. That, that is all part we of do. It. We do not take care of the poor in this country. I mean, we no, do not take care of the that's people a in side track. I think that that's a sidetrack by the homosexual community to think that our problem is the fact that they can get married. We're not saying that. One of right. the, the points but I'm you making are. out, the, the point I'm making out is the federal government doesn't have, it could be with anything. Then why the is it in this does, case you're about the federal let me government say this, and not others? We are. The, the same way we scream about imperialism uh, uh, nationally, uh -huh. internationally, capitalism nationally, the same way we're saying you're doing the same exact thing mm -hmm. that you're doing with every other function. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. forcing something down our throat. Hey, so yeah, you're yeah, forcing yeah, yeah. people in terms of, you're forcing hey, us to, you're guess forcing what? Us Instead yes. of dying yes. destitute okay. and not being yeah. able to. Okay. 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 I'm going to close up. All I want to say to people get Part two, when is part two coming up? Hey, we need yeah, part two. Part two. Hey, wait, wait, I'm the queer one. Guys, uh, peace out. Peace <laughs> on the arena uncensored. We have. Hit that button. Hit that stop.